Hi, I'm Julie Mond, and I'm here with my friends at One, and I'm here with the filmmakers um, from Simon Killer, and this is the star, Brady Corbet, the director, Antonio Campus, and my brother, Josh Mond, the producer. So, you guys are here at Sundance, your movie premiered yesterday. Yep. Yes. How does it feel? It's ex it's exhilarating, and um, you know it, uh, it's it's uh, there there is it was something that Antonio was speaking about earlier. There's also a bit of postpartum depression that comes along with it because we've been we've had this thing to occupy our thoughts for so long, and right. it's like now what? Um, but uh, but that's the beauty of it. If you love something, you give it away. Anyway, <laughs> so you guys made this movie in an incredibly like guerrilla style. You were a skeleton crew. You were in Paris. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that experience? I think what's amazing is the fact that um, that uh, we did make the film with a very uh, small crew, and it's it, it, but it's quite a big film. I mean, the scope of the film we were shooting in the Louvre, the Musée d'Orsay. Uh, thanks How to this guy. How did you get to shoot at the Louvre? <laughs> Ask Josh, Josh actually. Josh, the... <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, just a lot of like smiling and talking, and it was easy to sell Antonio because uh, of After School and the other works that we've done. Can after you school, tell me after about School? After School is Antonio's school? previous feature. After School is the first feature we did that Antonio directed. It premiered in Cannes in 2008 and was released in the States in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we, you know, that that was that was the first because um, the way that we work is that when one directs, the other two produce. Right. And so. And you guys all met at film school. We right? all met. We all met uh, about uh, nine years ago now. At uh, at NYU. Well, yeah. We went to high school. We yeah, we were in high school. Really. But they didn't really talk to each other. They didn't really no, know each other. They don't pass each other in the hall. Yeah. But we uh, we made the movie though. We made it rather quickly. We just, I moved to Paris two oh. weeks after we finished shooting Martha, and then we started. So Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene was the movie you had here last year, yeah. directed and written by the Sean third Dirk. member of your collective. Who's, Sean who's Dirk not here? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't meet them nine years ago. Nine years ago, how old was I? Uh, uh, quit I, telling everybody how young you are, Brady. I'm only 28. He's a baby. <laughs> um, no, but we we made this movie with a lot of support from the people that we've we've met over the years, and we have a crew that we work with in the states. Um, and you use like the same, same editors, for, DPs yes, a lot. So there's a shorthand that financially like saves you a lot of money because of the shorthand that's been developed over nine years allows us to move quicker mm -hmm. and allows us to make things for less. Um, you had mentioned also before that working with um, your two lead actors that they also are filmmakers in their mm -hmm. own right and so it was a really collaborative experience. Yeah, yeah I mean it was it was really um, you know I think I think a lot of uh, young directors um, they have this preconceived notion of of a director as the sort of god on set with all the answers. Mm -hmm. and Wait, they're not? They're, yeah. they're not. not. Oh. But I, the, I always found That's that... That's how I usually work. I think that they're the guy. Is no, that wrong? Not. That's wrong? But no, but I, think, I always think a director should approach Producers things are. as, oh. um, you know, surround, you're surrounded by really talented people mm -hmm. and you don't take them for granted. And the director's job, more than anything else, is not to be the one with all the answers, but to be the... Um, the best prepared in some way for possibilities, mm -hmm. um, wow. but not not, the, not all the answers. And the other thing is, I think a director's job is to bring out the best in people. Yeah, to try that's and figure really out, well said. You know. Yeah, no, I mean a lot of uh, there's the, the, there's the. I've, we've worked together four times, um, one short film and three f feature films, um, Martha Marcy and Marlene, a film called Two Gets So you're like sleep. the actor of the collective. Yeah. You yeah. lucky, so, you but lucky it's, man. It's I'm, but it's yes. different because no one really knows, Like, but Brady had a short here that was honorable mention that he directed when he was 19. And then also wow. Maddie had a short in Venice this year that she directed. And uh, she has another short in Maddie's Rotterdam next week. Yes. And she has another actress, short in Rotterdam next week. Yeah. Right, yeah. For you guys. Because being a filmmaker is not just doing <laughs> one but, thing. But, it's the, doing thing, but I, the thing I love about working with um, these guys, my friends, um, so much is, is, is that there, there's so much mutual respect for, uh, b b between us and, 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 a, and, and a lot of mutual love. Yeah. I mean, you guys have built an incredible community. Yeah. It's We've been very lucky.